The PLM360 mobile app gives you the true ability to access PLM from anywhere using your iOS or Android device. Available for your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch running iOS 5 or later and Android devices running version 4.0.3 or later, the app provides an even easier and faster way of using PLM360 than via a web browser. The app is not designed as a substitute for browser-based PLM360 access, so it doesn't allow you to carry out tasks such as creating new items or reports, but it provides a lightweight solution to give you convenient access to information, instant workflow approvals and quick uploading of documents and images while you're on the move. Start the app and you can sign in to any of the PLM360 tenants available to you within seconds. You may have access to more than one tenant and the app gives you the ability to quickly choose. Once logged in, you're instantly presented with a view of your home screen, optimised specifically for mobile devices. A view of your to-do list or your outstanding items is usually the first thing you'll see, giving you a clear outline of your current tasks. Just like in PLM360 itself, you can click on any of these items to get further details of it. Here, I've selected a change order and, by expanding the More Details section, I can see all of the item details, again via a view which is optimised for the smaller screen of a mobile device. In this case, as it's a change order, I'm given information such as the reason for the change and who the approvers are. By scrolling the screen along using your mobile device's touchscreen, we can quickly navigate the other dashboard pages. The second page shows us a list of our most recently viewed items. Again, by clicking on any of these and expanding the More Details section, I'm presented with a full, easy-to-read set of data about this item. In this case, it's a component part from our Items and Bombs workspace. So we can see details such as its part number, weight and even an image of it. I can identify this component very quickly, which is really valuable if I'm on a customer site or maybe walking around the shop floor or stores area. If I scroll along again to the third dashboard screen, this gives me a list of all of the reports I have access to in PLM360. Using the icons to the right of each report, I can view its content either in a standard table format or, as we can see in the case of this report, showing all of our component items by their class in its chart format if available. In this case, a clean, mobile optimised view of a bar chart. Alternatively, if I select an alternative report, one showing those same items by category, I'm presented with a pie chart representing that data. The final page in our dashboard lists the items we've bookmarked, the items which appear in our dashboard links section in PLM360. Again, just by selecting any of these we can see further details about it. In this case, it's a record from our suppliers workspace, giving us information about one of our component suppliers. By selecting our three horizontal lines icon at the top left, we're presented with a menu, which is a convenient mobile version of our main menu and top toolbar from PLM360 combined together. This provides fast access to all of the same workspaces we're authorised to see in PLM360. For example, by expanding the Program Management section, we see related workspaces, such as Tasks and New Product Introduction. We can also see all of our Change Management, Procurement and Quality workspaces, and so on. This is designed to be very familiar to all users of PLM360. If we enter our Items and Bombs workspace, we see a list of all of our items, just like in PLM360, but in a simpler, easy-to-read format. Any views which you've created in PLM360 can also be accessed. For example, I have a bomb view showing me just pneumatic components, 
which I can reach by clicking on the Views text. Selecting this view gives me the filtered list of items I defined earlier in PLM360. Let's select one of these items again, in this case a ball valve component, to see what other information we can view with the mobile app. Well, as well as the item details, we can access the change log if we have authority to do so, and also any attachments associated to this item. In this case, there's one attachment, a specification sheet, which we can select and view on our mobile device. Again, this is a convenient way of accessing attached documents while on the move. So let's take a look at a couple of simple use cases for the PLM360 mobile app. Firstly, let's imagine we're on a customer site with our iPad investigating a problem. As well as providing information on the machine causing the issue, the PLM360 mobile app allows us to very quickly upload a photograph we've just taken of the failed component with our iPad. In this case, we'll select a currently open change order created to resolve this problem, select the Actions section in which you'll see a list of tasks we can perform, select the option to upload an attachment, and then find and upload the photograph directly from the gallery on our iPad. Now just to show that's worked correctly, if we select that same change order and click on the attachment section, we can see the file. By selecting it, we can view it and see that the photograph has indeed been added. So you can see how using the mobile app we can attach documented details of issues on site which the engineering team can then immediately see in PLM360, allowing them to start investigating the problem even before the service engineer has left site. Another use case is sign off of change orders. Let's say that same change order needs to be signed off by a specific approver. He's off-site currently, but he can do this very easily on his iPad or iPhone using the PLM360 mobile app. He can see the sign-off task in the Outstanding Items page of his dashboard, so can select it to understand it in more detail, using the additional information sections available to him. For example, he can select the Affected Items section and better understand the component causing the problem. He can then select the Workflow Actions section, where he's presented with a list of tasks he can sign off. He can quickly sign off his pre-approval, and the workflow moves forward. We can also see here that, just like in PLM360, the history of this workflow is provided, giving that element of traceability. So you've just seen how the PLM360 mobile app provides fast PLM access for people off-site. Of course, being cloud-based, PLM360 is also available via a web browser on a mobile device, but what the app offers is even quicker and faster access to certain information and tasks whilst on the move. It also provides PLM capabilities in a different way, optimised for the smaller screens of mobile devices so is an even more portable way to access PLM360.